all right guys so now you know how to make a basic express application so in this video let's create our routes that are our product routes so basically what we need to have is this that whenever someone goes to forward slash products and if he makes a get request then he should get a list of all the products and if he makes a post request to that route that is forward slash products then he should be able to add a new product and then later on we'll be creating this route here that is forward slash products forward slash id which has three http methods get patch and delete get to get a single product patch to update the product and delete to delete the product so firstly let's create this route here that is forward slash products in our app.js file so now here what i'll do i'll do app dot get forward slash products and then again it takes in three parameters request response and next like this and now let me remove this thing from here because we don't want to handle the home route we want to handle the forward slash products route and now what we can do we can make a post request to this products route here itself and as you see that if i do everything here that is app dot post so on and so forth in this file itself that is app.js file then we are going to have too much code inside a single file and it is not recommended because if you are having more endpoints currently we only have a single endpoint that is product but suppose if you have more endpoints like forward slash users or forward slash something else then this file would be too huge to manage so to handle this kind of a problem what we can do we can use the express router that is built inside express so to use the express router properly what we need to do we need to go to our root folder here and we need to create a new folder here that is called routes which will contain all our routes and here inside this routes folder we will create a product route file here and it would be called product dot route dot js and as you see that i have named my file product dot route dot js it is only a convention if you want you can omit the route thing here and now here inside product route dot js file what we need to do we need to require the express package so const express equal to require express and then we can create the router variable here so const router equal to express dot router and we simply invoke this router function here that is inside express package and now at the end of this file what we need to do we need to simply export this router so module dot exports equal to router and now to handle the endpoint what we need to do we can simply use this router here so router dot get for the get method that is the get http method forward slash and here again it takes in a callback here which takes in three parameters that is the request response and next so request response and next and now to send the response we can simply use the response.send method here response.send getting a list of all products and now we can save this file here and we can go back to our app.js file and we can remove all this thing from here that is app.get and app.post and firstly what we need to do we need to require that product route.js file inside this app file here so to do that what we can do const product route equal to require we need to go to the routes folder here and then we need to require this file that we have just created that is product.route like this and we can simply do app.use and whenever someone goes to forward slash products then we want to handle this uh, forward slash products by the product route and not by any other route like this and now let's save this and to send a request to forward slash products i would be using this extension here that is rest client and if you don't know how to use rest client then you can watch my video that is linked above or else you can continue watching it is very simple to use and you can learn it by watching here itself so let's close it and let's go to our root folder here and here what we need to do we need to create a new file here inside the root folder which will be handling all our http requests so let's call it rest.http like this and it shouldn't be in the routes folder it should be outside the routes folder like this and now to make a get request what we need to do we need to simply type in get and we need to type in the path here so http localhost forward slash products so now let's go back to app.js file and let's start this application here or rather it's running already so let's go to this file here that is rest.http and now to make a get request we can simply click this button here that is send request and here 
we are getting this message here that getting a list of all products and we are also seeing the http headers that are sent by express application so now we see that we are able to work with the get method here so now let's complete our product route.js file to handle the post request so now let's create a post request here so router dot post forward slash and again request comma response comma next like this and now we can simply send something back here dot response dot send and we can simply say product created though we have not created the product but we can simply say that product created and now let's go back to a rest client here and we can separate our request by three hashes like this and we can simply make a comment here that create a product and and now to make a post request we can simply type in post and then we can use in the url here that is http localhost forward slash products and now let's click on send request so we see that we are getting this thing here that product created because this thing that is this post request has been handled by this route here that is router.post so now what else is required we need to create this uh, these three routes here that is forward slash products forward slash id for getting a single product for updating a product and for deleting a product so let me create this route here that is forward slash product forward slash id and so to do that what we need to do router dot get forward slash colon id and this would be a variable which would be coming from the client side that is id and we'll be using this id for getting the products or deleting the products or updating the products and again it would take in three parameters that is the request response and next like this and we can simply copy this thing from here because we want to use the two more methods here that is firstly the get secondly the patch and lastly the delete for deleting the product like this and now let's go to our client here that is rest client here and let me create three more requests here that is get a product by id and let's copy it from here like this and this should be update a product by id and this should be delete a product by id and let me copy this thing from here and let me paste it here and this should be get and it should go to forward slash some id like this and update would be patch like this and delete should be delete like this and let's go to the product route here and let's send some responses so response dot send getting a single product and let me copy it from here and this should be updating a single product and this response should be deleting a single product let's save it let's go to our rest client here so now let me click here that is get a product by id so we are getting this thing here to get that is getting a single product updating a single product and deleting a single product so we see that our endpoints are working that is these routes are working here that we have just created here and one thing i should tell you that here inside the router thing here you should use the relative url because here in the app.js we are forwarding all the requests which are coming to forward slash products to the product route so therefore we are using only forward slash here because this route means is that forward slash products forward slash and this means forward slash products forward slash id and not only the home route that is it it doesn't mean localhost forward slash id but it means localhost forward slash products forward slash id because this route gets fired whenever someone comes to this route here that is forward slash products and then we are handling the forward slash product routes and the relative routes using this product route here so that is why we are using here only the relative urls to forward slash products here inside our product route file here so in the next video we'll see that what to do if someone doesn't go to this route that is forward slash products or if he is going to any other route that doesn't exist in your api so we are going to do that error handling in the next video